All right, today is June 22nd, 2022. It is Wednesday. It is also day, um, one second, I don't even know what day it is. It is day 135 of Blunder. And today, I'm going to be trying to do what I did yesterday. I don't even think the video from yesterday was public, but yesterday I basically did, um, <sighs> text, um, animation. So I'm gonna try to do that today. So, I'll delete the cube by pressing X. I finally downloaded my shortcuts. That was also in yesterday's video. Um, okay, so I'm going to do Shift A and add a plane. I'm just going to keep it there. I'm going to go top view, pressing the button under the escape key, hovering over top. And then at this point, I'm going to do Shift A again and add a um, text. And then I'll just do G. X to move it along the X axis, go to tab, and then just um, maybe spell my name. Um, I would kind of um, go to object data properties. I could scale this down, or I could just go here to geometry. Let me see, I saw it somewhere. Spacing, font, size, just shrink it down a little bit. And then do um, G X to kind of center it there, and then basically this is what it looks like so far. Um, but I want kind of an animation going on, so what I'll do is I'll go here. I'll kind of pull this up a little bit. I'll scroll up or not. Um, okay, so I'll go to Object Data Properties and go to Oh, you know what I should have done? Um, I'm going to go to edit mode. Actually, no. I'll call this my template. And then I'll do shift. No, no, no. Shift D, escape, tab, and just leave my S. And then shift D, G, X, tab, change it to A. And then just kind of line it up. G, X. And then shift D again. GX, edit mode, change it to R, GX, okay, and then shift D again, GX to keep it in the same aligned, mint, alignment, change it to A, GX, and maybe move it a little bit to the left, and then shift D again, GX to keep it in the same line, edit mode, change it to I, and then back out of item mode into object mode and then do GX a little bit towards the right and then I'm going to delete my template press X to delete and then this one I'll just change it to S this one I'll just change it to A I'll look at S A this is R this is um, A2 and this is I and then what I'll do is I'll select my S, right, and I'll go to Geometry, and I'll just, while I'm in keyframe 1, so over here I can change what keyframe I'm in, so 1, right, I'm going to hover over the extrude, which is under Geometry, right, which is under Object Data Properties when you're selecting S or whatever letter you have. So Geometry, right, um, and I'll go Extrude, and I'll press I. Right, so that it inserts a keyframe here, and you'll see it over here at the yellow. If you don't see it, it's because you need to scroll all the way up. Um, yeah, so okay, it's right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to keyframe 80. I'm actually going to make sure it ends at 80, and I'll go to keyframe 80, right? Not 90, 80. I was already there, wasn't I? And then I'll just hover over the extrude and press I, and so it's going to basically start and end at zero but in the middle probably about keyframe 40 i want it to have let's say um an extrusion of maybe one right and then i'll do i and then we'll see that if i do this oh my god that's horrifying 0 0.1 all right you'll see that if we go to keyframe zero or one, it's at zero, right? And then if we move on, it would go and change that way. But I feel like if I go to keyframe 40, 
It should, did it not change it to 0 0.1? Okay, let me press I over again. So it's set straight. All right, so now it looks normal. All right, so now you can see a little animation going on here. So it starts at zero, at zero, right? And then it increases until it hits 0 0.1, right? And then it decreases back to zero, which is keyframe 80 at the end. So I'm gonna keep doing that, right? Um, I'll do the same for A. So I'll do, I'll actually go through each and every single one of them in the same keyframe. So number one, and I'll just set, I'll hover over I. So I, so hover over extrude and press I, hover over extrude and press I, and then go back to A, and then I'm gonna go to keyframe 80. And I'm gonna press I, press I, hover over extrude, press I, hover over extrude, press I, and then now I'm gonna go to 40, um, towards where A is, and I'll just change it to, um, 0 0.115 and then press I so now this the A will grow bigger right then the S okay I'm gonna go back to 40 go to R and then I'll maybe change it to 0 0.2 and then hover over I and then do A 0 0.215 and then do I and then finally the last one is going to be 0 0.3 and I'm just going to do I alright so now if I go to your top view you don't see anything happen because it's directly on top of top view but if you go kind of somewhere let me see maybe let me go front view, right view, back, right view. You know what I'll do? I'll select everything, object um, properties, and just rotate it. Oh no. How am I supposed to rotate it now? Because they're each individual letters. So rotate it on the X, 90 degrees. Rotate this on the X, 90 degrees. Now it's nice, so if I click on front view, it's gonna look something like that, and I could just do maybe something like that. I'll actually scale it on the X here. Right, and then I could do something like this. And then if I play it from the beginning, I'll be able to see my animation happening. Or if I do something like that and scale it on the z-axis. There we go. Alright, so that works. Um, at this point, I think I press T and I press bounce so that it's faster. Alright, that's okay. Alright, um, now I'm going to save this. And what's the date? The 22nd. So 62222. And then I'm going to go to Cycles, not Cycles, Render Preview, and then I'm going to change the render um, engine to be Cycles. If it's not like that already. Um, and this is why I always save before going to Render Preview, because this thing always crashes or freezes on me. Alright, so it's like that because there's no light. Although there is a light, it's just not. If I go to Object Data Properties, it's a point instead of a sun, so we got to make sure that's a sun. Um, before doing anything, let me do Control Alt Zero, so that this is kind of set up for me here, right there. So that kind of aligns my camera to my view. Um, if that doesn't work, it's because you don't have a camera. If you don't have a camera, do Shift A and then just go down here and add a camera. And Control Alt and Numpad Zero should work, by the way. And if you don't have a numpad, then you go to Edit Preferences, and you go to Input, and you go to um, Emulate Numpad and turn that on. 
and that basically emulates your numpad. Okay, and to get out of this little view here, you just press the middle mouse button, and you can get out of there. Alright, so now I'm just trying to look for the light. Where's the light? Oh, okay. Um, so, not sure. Okay, I just needed to move G, Y a little bit forward, and then R, how to be hitting that there, and then possibly a 5. Not so, you know, not so crazy here. Um, the shadows are going a little crazy right now, so just rotate it this way. I just don't know, GZ right there. Why is it so bad? Rotate it this way, maybe shrink it down like that one. G, Y, maybe move it up there, G, X, move to the left. But honestly, why can't I just do this and then do G, X right there? Alright, so it should be looking like that. It's kind of absolutely invisible now, so maybe something like that. Um, it looks so bad. So we can give each letter a certain color, let's see if that looks better. So I'm going to go to Material Properties, which is the little dart icon there, and then um, go to New, right? And then I'm just going to go here to Color Palettes, so we'll do Colors and go to palette generator and just kind of use like one of those palettes because I am obsessed with this website and their color palettes. Alright, um, let's see. Nope. Mm, maybe, okay, maybe I'll use this one. So I'll start off with blue. Um, it's my favorite color. And hex, just put that in there. Alright, then I'll do red. For A, so I'll go new, go base color, hex, just put that in there, and then I'll go yellow for R, click on new, base color, hex, place that in there, and then I'll go black for this A, new, base color, go to hex, paste that in there, because it's a hex code color, by the way, and I don't know, do I do white? Because I mean, I don't want to do white. Let me go to the background and change it to something. Um, let me lock these colors and just... Maybe go to playing, click on new, add base color, change to that. No, I definitely do not like that. Oh, I forgot to change it to, um, let me do control S to save it and change it to there we go. Isn't cycle so beautiful? Alright, um, I could always change the texture to maybe have like, go to material properties, I can change it to look metallic. I don't think it's going to be that. What's a metallic property here at zero? Sorry, we'll leave it at zero. Um, oh, I could do blue in the dark. I could definitely do blue in the dark, but maybe tomorrow, not today. I just don't want um, there to be white. Let me change another color. Because it's red. What's another yellow ochre? I don't even know. That's too not vibrant. Let me go back, maybe this one. Oh, green would be good. There we go. And then maybe like a... I need like a hot green. No, that's teal. Okay, that works. And then maybe, um, I don't know what's better, honestly. Let me get rid of these here. Maybe this.
or maybe this color. Not spending five hours in a background color. I don't know, do I like pink or blue more? I'm not sure. I'll do it. I'm gonna do pink. I don't really care enough right now. Alright, um, and I'll be able to basically see it increasing, right, if I just play it. And so at this point, um, I'm not sure. I could always also go, let me see, left view. And then play it, but then I'll be able to see that. Ooh, maybe something like this. I think that's better. But then I'm not sure. Okay, let me render it how it is for now. And then I'll render it in this view. I just forgot how to render. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I forgot how to render an animation. I remember the guy. I watched a tutorial and the guy like downloaded the images and then and then he rendered animation and he went to compositor. I don't even know what the guy did. Um, let me see. Format. Output. Why is it always TMP? Oh yeah, here it is. Wait, no, go back. Here it is, yeah. This is what I was talking about. So he like took all the images. Well these are he like I took these are my images. This is like my stuff, but like it's basically what he did. I don't even know. Let me go to desktop, blender. I'm gonna do a new folder. I'm gonna do um what I call it, like Sarai. <sighs> just go here and just um I don't even know, I forgot. Let me search up that video because I know I have it somewhere. Um, I think it was one of the chem, not chem days, the, oh yeah, chem days, the little, what do you call it, the skill thingy? And now this thing is frozen, great. It's definitely before that. Okay, I think it was the last one. Yeah, scale 360 rotation. <sighs> okay. Um, are you serious right now? Did I not add anything? There's no way. There is literally no way. That's crazy. Um, let me see. Then it has to be... Hold on. This day, day 180. Day 108, not day 180. Um, materials. Here we go. Why did I press on open instead of a link? Alright, so let me see what this guy did again. I generally don't know what's going on with my computer these days. Or is it my Wi-Fi? I can't even tell at this point. Okay, so let me skip until this part over here. So he went TMP. I think this is the part I started watching. Is he in the... Okay, so we changed PNG, RGBA.
Well, I forgot. Oh my god. I wanted to end that 80, okay? I just wanted to make sure that was there. Interesting. Did he say render images or render animation? He did animation. But I know for sure that he changed a few settings. Or maybe it was after the fact. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that part. <laughs> um. So what did he do? He said data combined and using data. Do I have to? Okay, sampling. Max sample is 50. Alright, so he went to here, I think it was this one, he did, he did select, um, <sighs> sampling, max samples, 50, are you kidding me, 40, 96, since when, honey? Um, so that's in render preview and denoise is also on. Okay. And it's max samples under render. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna render animation as it is right now. Honestly, I don't think I want to do that. Never mind. I want to do it the way that I have it at the moment. So let me do Control Alt Zero right now, and then just do a little bit here. All right, and then I'll render. Hold on, let me see. GPU compute. So tired. Um, okay, render. It. Are you kidding? Me? See how beautiful that made it. That's crazy. That's just crazy. All right. Um, I'm just. I really want to be sure that I got everything. Where's the video? Stuff? Oh, frame range one to eighty. PNG. Okay, okay, everything's fine. All right, render. Let me do control S first and then render animation um, and then we'll see. Okay, well I think I'm going to leave this. Oh, I was going to say I was going to leave it overnight, but I'm not because it's actually going pretty fast. It's like 8 out of 50 right now, so it's pretty good. So I'll just pause this video and then I'm going to work on data science and I guess I won't really Actually, you know what? Actually, you literally know what. I'm just gonna do data science right now. I've done it before. Like, I've done, like, what do you call it? Um, a, um, what do you call it when, like, those Disney characters are in other Disney shows? Like, they just pop up a cameo? Something like that. Data science cameo. Um, today is day. I don't even know what day it is. <sighs> I just always copy the date and just paste it in there. I can't, don't even keep track anymore. Well, mentally, like I do though online. <laughs> um, if you ask me what day I'm in, I wouldn't know. I literally wouldn't know what to say to you. Um, yeah, we're good. Okay. 
Let me get rid of this 100 because I don't know if it's 100 right now. All right, so recently I've been working with SQL data sets and um, let me think. Um, I'm just going to use the same table, my same like population table and kind of use other aggregating functions. So I'm just going to go to SQL light and so from this table I'll do select hello is this thing frozen okay um select let's say sum so I want to know like the sum of all of the populations right like in like in every city I have on here um, these are all New Jersey City, by the way, so, so New Jersey cities, not New Jersey City, which is another city in New Jersey. Okay. Wait, no, it's Jersey City. There's not a New Jersey City. You know what? Never mind. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, some, and then I'm going to do um, the name of the column, which is population, and then, let me think, so select some population, and then... I forgot what else do I do <laughs> oh from the table so from city my bad all right run that and then it should give me the sum of all of the populations yay okay great um is there are there others there should be like a minimum I'm assuming there is also a minimum there is a minimum aggregating function if there's a max, there should be a min. Alright, so that's good. Alright, um, let me see. List of SQL aggregating, aggregate functions, I guess. Ooh, the average, the count. I did sum, I did max, min, I haven't done the average. Um, where's my stuff? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, here. So I could also do the average of the population. Let me just copy that, reload, and then paste that in there, and then run it again. Okay, so that's the average population in these cities that I have in my database. Alright, so, okay, let's practice a few more things. So let's do select um, everything from city where, let's say, the population is greater than um, three, so let's say it's greater than 10,000. Okay, let me copy all of this again and reload because for some reason this thing doesn't, if you run it once, you can't run it twice. Okay, run it. Okay, so great, it gives me the cities in which the population is greater than 10,000 people. So, okay, that was just a little practice. All right, so let me just, write the other ones that I had used also. So what did I say again? I said, um, let me just write it again. I don't even have time to do this. Um, what was I going to do again? Um, I was going to rewrite what I wrote the first time. So select the sum of the population from city, right? So the table name and select select the min of the popu- are you kidding me? population from city and then select the max did I do max? no I did that yesterday from City, and then select the Jesus Christ the average population from city and I don't think that's gonna actually gonna work here I just wrote that so I can kind of document that over here so let me just go text and then insert code paste that in there and that's it. And then actually, let me see if it actually does work. 
and you reload. Paste that in there. Huh. It does work. But it only takes... Interesting, it only... Select everything from city where population is. This has apparently um, hierarchy over these over here. Interesting. Oh well, that's it for today. Actually, I'm speaking as if this is a data science video. It's not. I'm still doing Blender. Um, just gonna paste that in there. Close this out. Close this out. Close this out. This was web development. Hold on. Close this out. Go here to. I'm so confused. Your channel. Okay. Let me cite this video for today. Um, what day is it also today? Day. Jesus Christ, I forgot again. Um, day one. <sighs> Let me see. What's. Okay, we're in June, right? So, June 22nd. Twenty second, right? Right? I'm confused. Twenty second. So why is there <gasps> Did I not make a day for today? I did though, didn't I? Day one thirty five. I need Day 135. Really? I don't even care anymore. Okay, just go back, please. Just go back. This thing is absolutely so slow. Just close your... Okay. Go scroll all the way up. Scroll all the way up. And then... Let's see... Oh, it's because I didn't make a day, okay. This thing is still going. Day 135. And then let me do Blender template, and then today's date is the 22nd still. In 10 minutes, it's not going to be the 22nd. Um, I haven't even, I'm not done with today, so let me just paste that link to the video. Hopefully it's still there, embed video. All right, and then here we're really on twelve. Really, okay. I guess it's not that long. Um, it's still going. I guess I'm just gonna pause, and then I'll come back. It's done. All right, so it's the next day now. Um, it's literally what time is it? It's seven seventeen in the morning. I have literally graduation to go to in a few minutes um and i'm gonna finish this right okay so supposedly i'm in folder right so these images should be there if this thing is done i'm pretty sure it's done right hold on let me check yeah it's done <clears throat> so i should go to desktop blender and then something here and then the images should be here yeah they are thank god all right so at this point, I believe I go over here to compose, no, go here to video editing and do video editing, right? And then I think what I do is I have to go to, um, let me go to desktop, blender, no, whatever, so right, and then, I don't know, do I have to select all of them? What? What's going on? What is going on? I don't know. Let me look at the video. <laughs> um, okay, Blender. Go to this state. Oh, by the way, I, I'm so sure that the video before this was um, is private or it's unlisted. But you could always, like, check it here. Like, it, the links are always here. I just, on YouTube, I don't put them as um, public sometimes because, yeah. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do the chem thing. I don't know. I mean, not the chem thing. Yeah, the chem thing for the junior challenge thing. 
I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't care anymore. I just, I don't like pressure um, when it's not necessary. All right, so what am I doing again? Where's the video? It was this video, right? Okay. So I'm gonna just open it up on YouTube. Why does it always do that? It's so weird. All right, so can I close this? Let me close this. All right, so I'll skip the ad and then I'm gonna see what this guy does now. You're kidding me. <sighs> of course this happens. Um, 11.45. Hello? Can this thing hurry up? I literally have to go. Like, I genuinely have to go. And I have to leave the house, like, right now. And this thing is doing this right now. Like, are you kidding me? Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna open it on my phone. I'm gonna watch the video on my phone. And then we'll see what happens. Alright, so he said to do something about the resolution, so, hold on. Okay, so he said this one is 1,600, and then the resolution for this one... Wait, but I don't... No way did I just do that. Because then that messes my thing up. What's the resolution that I have here? Where's my layout? I'm gonna go back. What's the resolution that I have here? Oh, the same? I'm so confused now, guys. Um, <laughs> video editing. Maybe? Wait, if I go back to my layout. Is that fine? I think that's fine, right? Okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Okay, video editing. So, the resolution. 1600 or 1200. Fotogramas, así que configuramos esto de la misma forma: 1600 por 1200 y un frame rate de 24 fotogramas por segundo. Okay, ya configurado yes, esto, podemos introducir la secuencia de imágenes. Solo un detallito, y es que aquí en frame rate olvidé poner que acá tiene que ser 400 el final, ya que la eh, secuencia de imágenes pues, tiene 400 eh, fotogramas. Así que. What the? I turned off my phone, of course I did. Y ahora le damos en Add, y le damos acá en Imagen Secuencia, tenemos acá la secuencia, seleccionamos el 001, desplegamos esto hacia el final y con Shift presionado seleccionamos el número 400 y le damos en Add Imagen Strip y ahora podemos notar cómo eh, toda la animación de nuestra secuencia cool. está introducida en el Timeline y si le damos Play podemos notar que Toda la secuencia se ha introducido de manera correcta, tiene la velocidad que le establecimos y pues realmente se ve bastante bien. Y ahora para exportar el video de nuestra secuencia nos iremos acá. Wait, is there any way that I can crop it from, not crop, but like the, um, the time. So I needed to start at maybe one. Hello? Oh, okay. Start at one, and then end at um seventy-nine. So it doesn't look weird. All right. Um. Okay. So what did he say now to save the video? Output. Y acá, pues, obviamente, elegiremos la carpeta de destino donde queremos que eh, esté nuestro video. En este caso, aquí en File. Alright, so we have to do this once more. So here, I'll just go here and make the video. Um, click Accept. Right there, put that in there. Okay. Format. Si sí, vamos a elegir FEP MP Video. Which is acá um, en MP4. Acá en MP4. Desplegamos esto. Y acá en Container, vamos a elegir que sea MP Video. Acá en Encoding. Desplegamos esto y acá en container vamos a elegir que sea mpg4 de mpg video. Acá en encoding desplegamos esto y acá en container vamos a elegir que sea mpg4 
Y acá en la calidad, podemos poner la calidad que nosotros queramos. Acá le voy a dar High Quality. Y ahora sí podemos irnos a Render. Y le damos en Render Wait, la calidad. Hold on. Podemos poner la calidad que nosotros queramos. Acá le voy a dar High Quality. Y ahora sí podemos irnos a Render. Y le damos en Render Animación. All right, so one second. Let me think. Um... Okay, so let me think, let me think. I just want to save the settings because it was very tedious to go back to the video. Um, okay, so format is one thing that I have to do. Can I just... No? Okay, great. Um, okay, you know what? While this does this, I'm just do control S to save it, and then I'm going to do... I'm going to go render and render animation, and that should start working. And then while that does that, I'm going to just take screenshots of my... Um, settings here so that is I want to do this again it's easy for me to remember so we have that over here copy that and then go back over here close this out um, <clears throat> I'm literally not even doing something today this is for yesterday so this is great um, paste that in there and then go here and then scroll all the way down. Um, I put it in the same folder that I have my image sequences. I just did it in another folder inside that folder called videos. So should be the same. All right, and then, all right, so that should be that. I should have probably highlighted the things that I actually changed here. All right, um, paste that in, and then, okay, I think that's good. All right, that's all I needed. Um, all right, that's done, that's done. Um, is there anything else? Video editing. Add image sequence. Let me just highlight that. All right, and that's after. Thing. Okay, let me go back here, paste that in there. All right, now let me look at the render, which should be good if I could see it, which I can't, so that's great. What happened now? Render, 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 baby. Hello? Okay, let me close this out and then render animation. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. It should be faster though, but it would be faster in a few seconds. Oh, so it disappears. That's interesting. I need it to loop though. I need that to loop. And I know that that's possible because... He did it before, something with like a T or something, but that wasn't here, that was here. Um, which one was it? Linear, constant, bounce, elastic, I don't even know what he said. Um, I know there was a time where I did a video and I put it on loop and I think he did that here. I just have to remember. Um, let me open the video and see. Y posicionando el mouse en la línea del tiempo. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late. 
presionamos la tecla T que nos desplegará este menú y podemos notar que acá dice interpolación y que podemos hacer que la interpolación sea constante, linear o bezier. En este caso vamos a ponerle que sea linear y ahora si damos play nuevamente a la animación podemos notar que al llegar al fotograma número 100 no se hace esa pausa sino que la animación se mantiene de ¿Estás serio? Tengo que hacerlo de nuevo porque el um, problema es que le dije que se paró y no lo hice. Ok, así so, que si presiono T y lo presiono en línea, eso significa que siempre va a seguir continuando. Lo que es básicamente otra palabra para looping, es que va a loop. Así que eso es lo que quería porque en el render aquí, se paró, lo que es un problema. problema. So, um, what I'm gonna do though, I'm still gonna save it, um, and I'm gonna call it, um, Sarai Vid 1, and I'm gonna save it, desktop, um, blender, renders, save that there. But it's not an image, why is this doing this to me? Save as, whatever. And I'm going to do the same thing again, so what I'll do is I'll go to video editing, and I'll just X delete that, go to layout. So I guess is what I'm gonna do today because I'm not counting this as yesterday at this point. Um, what was I gonna do? Okay, so I already set it to be a loop, and so I have to go to over here resolution blah blah blah. I have the same settings over here already. File format, okay. Um, but no, first of all, it was PNG here. Did I just? Okay, it was PNG first, right? And we have those things going on. And then if I'm going to the video editing, um, I'm still in PNG, but okay, whatever. Let me go back to layout, go here, and just choose so that it's on Sarai. I'm just gonna create a new folder called Sarai 2. Hopefully that works. Reload question mark. I'll just create the folder here then. Folder Sarai 2. Alright, and then just have that be there. Um in Sarai 2, let me just make sure. Okay, accept. Okay, and now I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go to render. Control S first of all. Render, render. No no no. No, 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 delete, delete, delete yourself, delete yourself, please, close, 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 thank you, render animation, and then I'm gonna do it again, and then hopefully, um, when I render it in video editing stuff, it's going to be, and not just a video that ends, so, yeah, um, okay, I'm gonna pause this again, and then probably when I come back from the graduation, which is, like, later, like, very, very later, um, I'll unpause, and then we'll continue. Okay, bye. You know what? I decided I'm going to do data science here, too, since I did it already yesterday here. I'm confused. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Um, I'm just going to do data science for today, okay? So this is like a two-day video log. I don't know. Um, Because I really don't want to end the video. Because then I have to, like, go into video editor and then put the two videos together. Like, I do not have time for that. I do not end the video anymore. That's, like, crazy. All right, it is day... Wait, I don't even know. Okay, we're going to have to wait for it to load. Um, is this thing done? Oh my god, it did real quick. Oh my god, it actually did it really quickly. And now it's starting again. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's amazing, actually. Um, it literally did not literally save 49 out of 50. Hold on, let me make sure. Hello? Okay, go to desktop. Blender. Hello. Why is this been taking five hours? Okay. Um. Go to Sarai. Are you sick? You're kidding me. Not the donut. Okay. Sarai. We're in Blender, right? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Sarai two. Seriously? Only two frames? You're kidding me. Hurry it up. This thing ain't even doing anything. Did no way. Did the extrusions like delete themselves? 
You know what? I have no time for this. I do not care. I'm just going to, um, pop in the video. <sighs> Let's see. Video. Upload to the video. Go to Blender, go to Sarai, go to video, and then it should be here, and then I open it, nope, nope, I open it, and then it should just be there. Let me just scroll it all the way up. open it and that's the result for today that's the video um not for today yesterday I don't even know what day it is honestly I don't um okay so this day I don't what's today <laughs> the 23rd okay so we're in day 340 of data science um so let me just put that there and then just change this to 40 and then change this to a three and then change this to thursday um okay yeah that's pretty much it so um what do i want to do today ask you all night i'm gonna just create a table from the beginning so just for a little practice so what table should i create maybe um maybe let me think i already did a city one i did a grocery one i did a book one i did a painting one um Maybe a blender one. Let's do a blender one. Okay, so I'm gonna do create table. I'm gonna call it blender or blends, right? Blends. I'm gonna put in the value. So the first thing is my ID, which is you have is gonna have a data type integer, and then it's gonna also make sure it's primary key so that I know it's my ID right and then which is the identifier right of the row so then we can just talk about the stuff so i'll do day and this is going to be text or maybe actually integer um and then i'll do name maybe i'll just keep everything in caps lock because literally and this one's going to be text and then what else can i do i have what other things that do i have here um ch -ch -ch -ch. rating rating and this is going to be a data type integer all right and so now let me insert into blends the following values so the first one is going to be um what day let's start with day let me go Oh no, I should have just scrolled down. Alright, let's start with maybe the lipstick. Or the shampoo bottle. Or no, 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 the array model I'm building. Okay, let's go down one. So day 118 was a two star. So day 118, um, the name, what did I call it? Array mod on building, I think. It's supposed to be capital. So array mod on building. Really? Why does it do this to me? There we go. And then the rating two stars. Okay. And then I'm just going to copy that. Just paste it a few more times. Oops. So maybe like the second one, third one, fourth one, change this. Let me just delete that. Copy this. Delete that. And then just paste that template into here. Three, four, five. Okay. So then we have um what am I doing? Okay, day. What's well, obviously going to be 119, or like one, one, I can't even speak. 119, like what? 120, 121, 
122. All right, so 118, 119, what is, what is going on here? Um, this one is called a shampoo bottle, and it was rated five stars. So paste that in there and rate it five stars. Okay, moving on. Day 120. Five stars, and it was called the, I'm just going to call it lipstick. So lipstick, and then I'm going to call it five stars call it five stars does that make sense to you like what i just said i can't even speak i can't i don't even know what's wrong <clears throat> oh i should have had breakfast okay day 121 i'm gonna call it color pencils call this color pencils and gonna give it five stars And then, next one, <sighs> highlighters, and that was five stars. I need something lower. <laughs> I need, um, okay, day 123 maybe? Okay, good, day 123, so let me add that one. Oops. Hold on, I think I have a template. Oop, never mind, I just have shampoo bottle. So it's gonna be six, and it's gonna be seven, and it's gonna be 123 and 124, and this one is um lampshade. And that was a two star. Um yeah, I called it, I don't even know. Makes sense. Okay, um, and then 124 is what? Oh, dice shape. So I'm going to just say dice. And that was two stars. It's interesting, because one of my friends, never mind. Well, no, I'm going to say, okay, one of my friends, right? I was like, I posted on Instagram, oh, like, what should I paint? Like, name a random object. And then she said dice, and I was like, interesting. Because this was after day 124. I was like, what is, what's a coincidence? Anyway, okay. Um, so I have my data here, right? And then I'm going to do, I'm just going to basically output it. So select, if I could ever spell, like, Jesus. Select everything, right, Astrid, from blends. And then run that. And then you can see the data down here, right? So the identifier, the day, the name, and then the rating. Now, let's say I want to do some querying or whatever. I don't know how to say it. Um, I'm going to say, okay, select everything from blends where the rating is maybe greater than, actually less than five. So maybe I want to see, like, my not-so-good days. So let me just copy this, reload, and then just paste that in there, run. And so here are the days. Or, well, yeah, the days in which my rating was less than 5, and you can see the rating is like 2, 2, 2, etc. Um, I could also maybe do, well, there's not any quantifying. Like, this is all more categorical than quantity, maybe, besides rating. Um, I can't do, like, an average. Oh, I can do an average rating. Okay, so I could do um, select the average um, rating, right, from blunts. That's not how you spell blunts. Alright. And then let me delete this part because actually, what did I do? Okay, reload. And let me paste that in there. Copy this. Delete and then run and it should give me the average rating right so 3.7 all right um yeah i think that's it for today i'm gonna go now <laughs> actually i'm not gonna go i keep forgetting that i'm actually doing um blender or whatever i don't even know I can't keep up is this thing done it's still going jesus all right so i'm just gonna copy this right and then go to my data science click on text 
um, format this as code because it's actually not going to run here and I can't put it as a code snippet because it's Python not SQL. Again, put the link to the site and then I'll also have to put the link to the video um, which is the same link to the video from the day before. Just have to put that there. Okay. Um, and then take a screenshot of this. Copy this, go here, text, paste that in there. Whoops, that was for the wrong day. Okay, I just have to take this and just bring it down. Yeah, there we go, it's for today, not for yesterday. Um, and let me also reload. And then paste again, but delete this so I can get the actual data here. Oh no, did I re- you're kidding me. Okay, reload, paste, run. Why does it keep doing- oh, <laughs> why do I do this to myself? Um, select everything from blends. I was like, why does it keep doing that? Great, sorry, so smart of you. Okay, paste, run. Okay, and then screenshot this, which is a better representation of what I did today. Okay, put that here. Go down here. Um, just paste that here. Okay, let me see what's happening in Blender right now. Is it done? Oh, it keeps doing it. That's that's great then. Um, did the thing paste? Yeah, I did. All right, so that's it for today. Why do I keep saying that? I'm not done. All right, I still have to paste in those videos. Um, what am I doing again? Um, okay, let me close this out. Oh, I had to go to the file and see if this thing... Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Literally only 8 frames. Let me reload. This better be good. This is a joke, right? Frames only? Like, it's literally at 21. Like, how much more? Like, what more do you want from me? I don't understand. Is it doing this for every frame? That's crazy. Can't I just figure out a way to do it with this in... I don't even know. I could just make it into a GIF. A GIF. Whatever you call it, people. Giffy. Giffy. <laughs> oh, I find that funny. Okay. Um, oh my God, I'm going to my keys. Who imagine? Alright, create... Literally, my user. Never mind. Let me not say anything. Okay, um, GIF. Put this video there. It's just gonna be like lesser quality. Oh my god, I need an umbrella. I really need an umbrella. Like, actually. Alright, see? Perfect. See, I don't gotta do all that blender stuff. <laughs> Just put it in the gift. Oh my god. All right. Um, continue to upload. Literally, solutions, guys. Solutions. I should have done better colors. Cause like, what is this? Literally, it's giving preschool. All right. Um. Let me just go here. I don't even care if this thing keeps doing this. It's crazy. 
figure it out tomorrow or whatever. Wait, what am I doing again? Oh, did this thing really freeze on me? Hello? You better not. What my percentage on my phone? Okay, I literally have six minutes and then have to go. Alright, share, copy link. Okay, go back to Blender. Oh, hello? 